Hi, in today's Storyline tutorial, I'll show you how to build a slider interaction in Articulate Storyline where you can calculate the time spent on a day. I'll also explain how you can link multiple sliders together with variables. Hi, I'm Mark Sperman from Upward Online Learning, where I teach you how you can create e-learning modules yourself with Articulate Storyline. And are you new here? And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification icon so you won't miss any of my upcoming videos. Are you ready? Then let's get started. Now let's see how this slider interaction works. So I've built up the slider interaction from uh, two slides. On the first slide, you'll see the different sliders. And on the second slide, this is my outcome slide. And I will show you later on in this video how I've built this. So let's return to the first slide. You'll see a slider here that's not on my slide. And this is the slider for the total amount of time. And I'll use this slider to uh, calculate the total amount of time for all the categories. So what I will do is if I have, for instance, a three hours of work, this slider will go to three, four hours of study. This will add uh, on top of the three, so it goes to seven. So now you see here, the variable for this slider, each slider in Storyline has a variable. So this variable is slider 8 and it updates when the slider is dragged. You can also choose when learner release. Now in this interaction, I don't use it. You can uh, select how many steps you have, have in your slider. Now in this slider, because it goes for the total amount of times in the day, hours in the day, it's 24, so I will start at zero and I'll end at 24. You can say, uh, what's the initial at zero and how many steps you want. So I want a step from one. I could also say if in, this is not hours, but for instance, um, you're doing something in the kitchen and you want to weigh, some, weigh something that you may, the steps from a, a half and do a half each time and, and count it. Now let's see here to the sliders. I have a slider for, for the categories and I had a problem. Um, adding to this category was no problem, but subtracting was a little bit difficult. So what I've done, I created uh, buttons, a subtract, and a plus button. And if I click on the plus button, you see it here with my triggers. There are two triggers on this button. The first trigger that adds a, a one to slider eight each time a user clicks on it. If slider one, and that's this slider, uh, is less than 12. And this button also adds one to slider one. So this toggle will move when the user clicks on one plus if slider one is less than and then 12. So use this one will move and also this one will move. And now if I will add, of uh, the user clicks a second get category, the same will happen. So it will add to one. So for instance, if I'll choose three hours of work, this slider will go through three and four hours of study. This will, the four will be added. So this slider will be on seven uh, and it, this makes it easy to subtract from the total amount of time and you can see it here for instance uh, on the minus I subtract one if a user clicks on this when a slider is uh, greater than equal to one from slider eight and also if I sub subtract one from slider one when user clicks if slider one, and this is this slider, is greater than or equal to slider two value one. So this will move and on the background, this will move. Now, and this slider, slider eight, the variable name is here in the rounded shape. And this is the outcome. So if I preview this slide, for instance, only, you can see that if I click this, you see that here the uh, amount of hours uh, uh, appears and here there's a total amount of hours. Now you see, for instance, I have work two. Now, errands seven, you see two and five. 
and this is seven now and on the background but you can't see it the slider uh slider eight will move and now if i'll check my answer we'll go to the next slide and there's the outcome now let's see how i've built the outcome in this uh, interaction so let's go to my second slide here i created a bar graph for the outcome and for each category, there is a bar, and this is a rectangle, and it has several states. Let's see in the states, and you see here, there's a normal state, state 1, 2, 3, until 12. And so it will build up. And I'm based on what the uh, variable is for slider 1, it will uh, set it on the corresponding state. So for instance, is if the input for slider 1 is 6, uh, state six will be uh, sh will be shown, and this is done by by actions. So let's go to the timeline. You'll see here that there are uh, a lot of actions because for each category I have twelve actions to uh, show this from zero to twelve. And why this one is in a scrolling panel? This has to do with that there is an animation. Uh, it is an animation fly in from bottom uh, and if it's not in the scrolling panel you will see it fly in from bottom from the from the slide now I didn't want it so what I did is I put the uh, bars in a scrolling panel and it causes that it will fly in from the um, bottom of the scrolling panel and I have to preview my scene to show how it works so let's add quick some time to the different categories and I'll check my answer and you'll see that the bars are flying in from the bottom but not from the bottom of the slide but from the bottom of my uh, scrolling panel that is there What I also did on this slide is that if you selected more than 24 hours, you get a warning. So this text warning is uh, stayed on hidden. I selected one moment. It's, it's set to hidden. And it will be triggered if this slider, slider 8, uh, is greater than 24, then it will be set to normal. And if slider 8 is uh, less than 24 it will hide so you see here that change the state of text warning to hidden when uh, a variable changes slider 8 so each time this uh, variable for the slider change storyline will sh will uh, check hey will, will I show this um, warning or should I hide it and you'll see it here so I hope you get uh, a good idea what you can do with sliders and variables if you want to know more about variables you can see my video about variables in articulate storyline and i'll put a card in the in the right top and you can click on it if you want to build your articulate storyline skills then make sure you get my free step-by-step -step guide on how to create engaging e-learning in articulate storyline in less time and I will know for sure it will help you because it shows you my exact process that I'll use for every e-learning module that I built in Articulate Storyline. You can, you can find my free guide on upwardonlinelearning.com slash free guide. And if this video was useful to you, then hit the like button below. And don't forget to subscribe on my YouTube channel by clicking subscribe and clicking the bell notification icon so you won't miss any of my upcoming videos that I publish every Thursday on YouTube. Thanks for watching and have a great day.